Um, Rick, if you come anywhere around me, you're going to jail. My precinct said it that day. If he shows up, call 911. Simple dimple. You want to go to jail? Go to jail. You want to go to jail? Go to jail. You might go to jail anyway. Because you won't leave a bitch alone. You got a fucking jail wish. Imagine. Imagine. You know what I'm saying? Imagine you're dealing with, with like life shit. And then you have to go to jail. Yikes. No, you're right. I don't own New Jersey courthouse, but you have no business in a New Jersey courthouse that I'm going to be at other than harassing me. So you don't understand how the law works. It the right to a public trial involving criminal prosecutions. The right is twofold. The defendant has a right to a public trial and the public has a separate right to attend trials. These rights are found in the first and sixth amendments to the U.S. Constitution. The U.S. Supreme Court has identified several purposes behind the right to a public trial, some of which include, comma, helping to ensure that the defendant is given a fair trial providing a public demonstration of fairness, discouraging perjury, misconduct, and bias, encouraging witnesses to come forward having a public trial helps ensure that the government, including prosecutors and judges, can't cut corners, use improper tactics or otherwise fail to follow the law that governs criminal trials, if the public can see the goings-on in court, the proceedings are more likely to comply with the rules that are in place to protect all citizens from abuse of power.